I'm Dr. Pradeep Mahajan, a researcher in biotechnology, stem cell science. By training, I'm a neurosurgeon. Last 30 years I've been practicing medicine and last 10 years I have changed myself, seeing an opportunity of a new career into biotechnology and regenerative medicine or cellless technology. Today I'm going to talk to you why and how this pursuing the career in regenerative medicine, cell-based technology is going to be a future for all the science students. In fact, there's a lot of noise happening currently about this science. Finding out gray areas, challenges, because this science was not taught in a current standard medical care practice or researches where they're not there till date. Scientists have gone to the molecular level to find out various disease patterns to understand the concept of disease. Here the science of this cutting edge is not going to talk of killing the cells but adding the cells, treating the body with the cells. Globally the future for this science is very very brilliant. If you see stem cell science or regenerative medicine in the US the maximum government funds goes to region to medicine and stem cell technology in the research from embryonic stem cells to the iPSCs to the molecular science to the genomic science. As well the major private, com private pharma companies are as well uh, uh, apart from pharma companies also venture capitalists are funding these science very much looking the future. In fact if you see behind last hundred years or one century the sciences which came like computer science, space science. They have been fascinating for the people. But regenerative medicine is a science which is going to be a game changer for a common man's life and disease patterns which are not treatable for the last century. There are a number of conditions where there are challenges because the aging population, silver-haired population is increasing. Like aging diseases, neurology, cancers, autoimmune disease, genetic disorders. They have been challenged from a medical standard care to treat these conditions. We are skeptical definitely in India to take up this science. Reason being that there is a, a lack of innovative minds, funding as well as opportunities if you do this research or graduation these programs. Currently, well said by major researchers as well as successful people in the world like Bill Gates, Mark Zuberger, who are including biotechnology among the top three scientific worlds as opportunities in the world as a career like artificial intelligence, renewable energy, then comes the stem cell science. In India too, now the scenario is changing. A lot of Startups are coming up. Research labs are coming in molecular biology. In case of looking at a commercial opportunity, we have to look into academic because we need to create these minds and brains. Without this, the industry cannot flourish. So we have to focus on academics where different courses and PhD programs with various universities in India have given an opportunity for this subject like Manipal University, or the Institute of Medical Sciences, all of them are giving a lot of stress on this science. Then comes the industry as an opportunity, like pharma companies are entering into a manufacturing of drugs as cells, cells as drugs, and their molecular products, like exosomes, platelet-rich plasmas, all these are coming as an opportunity from the industry where an opportunity is there to take up, to develop this science and get into a research of this. And third, basic research of molecular science, genomic science, which are going to be foundation for all of us to develop this science in future. As an opportunity, I would say rather, regenerative medicine is a huge umbrella, covering up, giving a restoration functions, regenerating functions, not only treating the signs and symptoms, but repairing the systems in our body. As I told you, with the health crisis, where 
in the current scenario standard medical care is unable to treat a lot of medical conditions aging populations as i mentioned already cancers as well as autoimmune diseases genetic diseases which i already mentioned the regenerative medicine and personalized medical care where we are going to develop the systems where we can have the personal medical developments and devices to treat these conditions as well as diagnosing these conditions using regenerative medicine i would say rather this opportunity going to this cutting edge science is a future for all of the young brains to keep in mind and take up the science of regenerative medicine opportunity thank you